In this Auto Chartist intro series video, we're going to take a closer look at specifically non-trending chart patterns. We're going to look at the initial trend readings that can accompany triangles, rectangles, pennants, double and triple tops and bottoms, as well as flags and head and shoulders. Non-trending chart patterns should ideally form within an initial trend reading of either 1 to 3 or 4 to 5 bars. Let's discuss why we differentiate those two groupings, 1 to 3 or 4 to 5 initial trend bars. Notice that in this example of the Euro British Pound on the 60 minute chart we have a triangle alert. Now notice on the center section, the chart pattern section, and the accompanying quality indicators, the initial trend reading is three bars. Knowing that a one to three bar reading is a quiet sideways or narrow ranging market cycle, and that a triangle is a congestion or consolidation pattern, confirming that this triangle is forming within a non-trending market cycle is key to confirming the validity of trading a pattern such as this within the current market direction. The initial trend is confirming that this is a good pairing or a good match. So over the course of the last 56 candles, which is the length of this pattern, the initial trend reading is indicating that the market was moving in a non-trending manner. While the projected direction for the break is showing that it could break lower, any non-trending pattern could break in either direction. So it's best to take a look at the direction and know that that might be a likely scenario, but remember that pattern could break to the upside as well. When examining a three bar con congestion or consolidation pattern, such as this triangle, it's best in the one to three bar reading to wait for momentum to reveal whether the pattern could break up or break down. This would be an auto chartist initial movement to momentum setup or an aim setup. An aim setup is basically a watch and wait scenario where as patterns are forming within a sideways market cycle without direction, without opinion, we wait for the opinion or the momentum to reveal itself by moving through the support or resistance of the pattern. This would apply to triangles, to rectangles, and to pennants, as well as double and triple tops and bottoms within a one to three bar initial trend reading. Let's contrast that to a sideways market cycle pattern like the triangle that's occurring on the Euro New Zealand dollar. It's a 15 minute interval with a descending triangle. Now anytime we have a horizontal level such as this support level on the descending triangle and we have a four to five bar initial trend reading, two things are going to occur. Number one, the four to five bar reading indicates that there is what's known as a distribution market cycle. This is a wider ranging, more volatile, yet still sideways market cycle. With a four to five bar reading, now there is the interpretation that if there is a horizontal or static level, as we have here on the descending triangle pattern that accompanies the four to five bar reading, we're likely to see exhaustion at that horizontal level, which means we can utilize what's known as a fading or an exhaustion technique, which means in this case we would buy into the move lower to the horizontal level, in this case this support level, expecting that because of the volatile sideways range, this distribution market cycle, as indicated by the four or five bar reading on the initial trend, that the pattern is likely not to follow through lower or higher upon the pattern break. Instead it will exhaust. 
This is the characteristic of a distribution market cycle. It's best to have a horizontal level when setting up this type of exhaustion or fading technique. Again, buying at this horizontal level. Understanding that non-trending chart patterns can give two types of entry scenarios. One being the aim, the auto chartist initial movement to momentum trigger, or this exhaustion trigger comes down to not only the pattern type and whether we have a horizontal level, but whether that horizontal level is accompanying that four to five bar initial trend reading. Hypothetically, if this descending triangle had a one to three bar reading, we would expect momentum to carry prices lower through this horizontal level break. So much of the strategy will be determined by what the initial trend is telling us about the environment in which the pattern is forming.